YouTube, what up? Today, I'm just going to talk to y'all as uh, a human being. We need to have a conversation. I, I've seen some comments where people were wondering what the hell is going on. So I'm going to give y'all a little bit of insight. This video will not be up. up this video will not be edited. Uh, there won't be any thumbnails. I'm just going to speak from the chest and I'm going to put it out. All right. Uh, and this message is also going to hit Patreon too. So it'll hit Patreon and YouTube at the same time. But check it out. We took a break. We needed to take a break. Um, there was so much going on behind the scenes. And the reason why I'm going to be a little bit candid with y'all is because you need to understand for the people who don't that your content creators, your favorite content creators or whoever are human and have real life situations happening. Not to say that any of you don't, because I'm sure everybody understands that, but, you know, we had some life hit us, and I couldn't, I couldn't focus on updating Patreon, like, we lost a lot of patrons, which is fine, um, we lost some subscribers, which is fine, we lost a lot of views, which is fine, like, I'm fine with all of that, because I needed, we needed to take a break, um, YouTube isn't the cause of our problems. It is in addition to the cause of all our problems, right? So YouTube is very demanding, right? And we understood that going into it, which is why we don't complain about it. We know what it is. We know how many videos y'all need. We know all of that, right? But what ended up happening is the stress of that the stress of, like, I don't know if you guys knew, but, like, my kids are not Julie's kids. My kids, you know, came from a previous marriage. We're divorced now. Julie came into my life as my girlfriend, accepting my three boys, right? And all my three boys came from the same woman. Um, you know, there wasn't any, like, I jumped from woman to woman to woman just knocking people up. We had a marriage that did not work. Um, so, you know, she came in and was like, I'm going to be their stepmom and just took it on because she loved me so much, right? So here's the problem. With work, YouTube, kids, competition, homework, chores, all of that shit, um, it was killing us. And frankly, it put our relationship in tatters. You almost lost us as content creators. Um, I could be very prideful. I could be very egotistical sometimes. Um, and I could say things I don't mean when I'm put at an anger level. Like, if you're from the Bronx or if you're hot-headed, you know what I'm talking about. The minute I get to a 100, it's real hard to bring me down. And I'll say and do shit that I might regret later, right? Um, there was no, like, infidelity or anything that went on. So don't worry about that. Like, we just, our relationship went, was, was failing, um, fast because i was given attitude she was given attitude there was you know i was tired and lazy and she was tired from doing everything you see what i'm saying so like there was a lot that was going on behind the scenes you know what i'm saying and the videos that you see those are genuine like i don't want you to think that we like faked anything because we didn't those the videos that you saw were genuine like we you know when we are in the videos we love each other and when we're out of the videos we love each other but like you know, I, I was to the point where, like, she could sneeze and I'll get pissed off. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just... And there's a lot of shit that I need to reevaluate as far as, like, how how I am with with her. You know what I'm saying? Like, hold on. There's a lot of shit, like, that I gotta come to grips with. I shouldn't... I shouldn't say things the way I say things and do things the way I do like and that's not an issue that she brought up like I don't want y'all to think like she's like oh she did this no that's not what happened I'm just very self aware and so I say all of this to say we had to we had to take a break have to take a break um we understand the loss in numbers like we get that and we have so much shit on Patreon that is going to come to YouTube this month. But on top of that, you have the finance thing, right? So with the finance thing, you know, 
we we don't like we don't make a lot of money. I don't know if people think that we make tons of money. We don't. We have two editors and we have bills to pay, right? So with the content that comes out, sometimes the return on investment isn't that great, but we do it anyway. So keep that in mind. Like, sure, like we want this to be a job. Sure, you can't do this and not get paid for it. Like, sure, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if anybody's doing YouTube, sure they'll be doing it for the love, but eventually you're gonna want to get paid, right? So, um, it's for us. It's never been about making millions of dollars. Like, we don't. I I would hope we don't carry ourselves like, yo, hundred million dollars or we're done. Like, I hope we don't carry ourselves that way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I hope you look at us and go, oh, okay, like. They're, they're like they're good like I'm content where we are you know what I'm saying like I don't want like of course I would love to make millions of dollars but I'm content where we are right and obviously we want to build to to gain more like the platform is huge but we want to reach more people I say that to say we had issues with Vimeo like everybody else did um, they said that we were in the top one percent of content creators which is bullshit they said that we was using way too much bandwidth which is bullshit like they were mad at us because people were watching our video. So then they wanted like their their plan, their custom plan started out at forty two hundred dollars. I'm not giving you forty two hundred dollars. I'm sorry. It's just not it's not happening. Their final plan was like ten thousand dollars, bro. Are you serious? Just to remain on Vimeo. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? And that halted. March was supposed to be our month on Patreon. Like we were grinding. We were grinding, bro. And because we were grinding so hard, our relationship suffered. You see what I'm saying? Like, we were grinding. We both had to work eight-hour jobs. And, she, you know, she has a fluctuating schedule. Then we have the kids and what the kids need. And they have to be at school at this time. And then we have to pick them up at this time. Like, And then we're like, you know what? Fuck it. We're just going to work really hard. And we worked so hard. And then Vimeo was like, nah, fuck you. Fuck you. And it's just like we couldn't win. Couldn't win. So we took a break. Julie even left the Discord. <laughs> She's back. But, she, like, Julie, I feel like Julie had took it the worst. Not, took, not like, took it the worst, but it hit Julie the worst. Right? Because it's like, imagine doing everything, right? And then only not seeing any, like, any growth from it because of an outside party. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit is crazy to me. It's it's absolutely crazy to me. But we took this time to work on each other, to love each other. We, yesterday, we fucking cuddled. You know what I'm saying? We sat on the couch and cuddled. People don't understand that when you are a, a, a relationship channel, your relationship should come first. I don't know if that means anything to you guys. I'm not going to keep this super fucking super long. I just wanted to get it out. But if you're a relationship channel, your relationship should come first. Don't you think? So that when you do these videos, whether it be a hobby, a side gig, a side gig or your job, when you do these videos, you'll be genuine. I love Julie, right? I love Julie. Julie loves me. But like. When the stress, when it came down to it, like, our relationship took a hit. And I don't want that to happen. So we took a break, right? We don't make hundreds of millions of dollars. So whatever losses we take, we take them. We're going to take them on the chin, and then we'll just build it right back up, bro. That's just what we have to do. Because I'll be damned. I'll be damned if I lose my woman for anything. I'm telling you niggas that right now. I've never had a woman like Julie, bro. This is this is not a, 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 a my girl Julie video. I'm just I'm just telling you my human perspective. I've never met a woman like Julie, and I'm not letting her go. <laughs> it's just not happening. Not happening. If I got to take a week or two or three off of YouTube, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. You know, and what will end up happening is, is we'll just keep paying the editors and they'll just keep having videos and then we'll be super ahead and then we'll just throw everything on YouTube the way they're supposed to. But I wanted to give you all a reason as to why we were gone. Don't worry. 
Nobody's hurt. Nothing happened. We're just... We wanted to work on us. We wanted to cuddle. We wanted to watch a movie together without feeling like, oh, man, we fucked up. Like, we need to we need to give this content. We wanted to have our relationship. And not a lot of relationships on YouTube can do that. One day, I'm going to put a ring on that woman. And it'll be totally different. It's not going to be teaching my girlfriend Dragon Ball. It'll be teaching my wife, you know, fucking... What's that shit called? Um, Megalobox or some shit. <laughs> and look, man, we don't get the most views on YouTube either, but we're appreciative of the views we do get. So we love y'all and we thank y'all. But nigga, I'm a human and I got we got to take breaks. We have to. And, you know, there's a lot of other personal shit that went into it. Right. That I won't speak on, but. We're human. We have to take breaks sometimes. And I really hope all of you understand that. I really hope nobody is, like, offended by this. Nobody is mad about this. Like, I hope you all understand that we just needed to take a break. I know you want to see your Dragon Balls and your Avatar and all of that. I know you want to see that. And we want to give it to you. But, bro, like today, Julie's at work. I'm about to record Mad Berserk, Mad One Piece, so that we have it. I'm going to edit some and throw them up. And then I'm going to watch WrestleMania. And it's not because I don't care about y'all. It's not because I don't like y'all. It's not because of any of that. It's not because I don't respect you or your time. It's because I need to have balance, work-life balance. I need to make sure that I do the things that make me happy. And to do the things that make my Julie happy and the things that make my kids happy. That's it. And I feel like we'll be better content creators because of it. I'll be totally honest with you. I feel like we will be fantastic content creators because we have that time to love each other, to love the kids. You know what I'm saying? Which will then translate into the love in the videos. There's so many couple channels and there's so many couple channels that fail or they break up or they get divorced or s the w the girl leaves or the guy leaves there's so many of that, of that. I don't want that. Okay, this channel has been an individual channel since 2008 and then when Julie came aboard, I was content with making it a business and you know, my girlfriend and I. And now we have two editors who I also you know, want to be a part of the channel. Go to the go to go to the channel, like my like the channel and look at the banner. Like I want I want everybody to know who's a part of this channel. And I'm content with that. Sure it's called the Asha Thirst, but I don't want to change the name because it's like, you know, now you gotta find whatever our name was. Like, nah, I'm gonna leave it the Asha Thirst, but you gonna understand there are three other people, three other moving parts behind this channel that make this shit run. So you know, I just wanted to give y'all, you know, a real heart to heart update, you know, because people on Patreon was asking about us. People on YouTube was asking about us. And I didn't I was like quiet. I wasn't in the discord. I was barely on social media. You know, what I'm saying like I didn't want to be involved in anything except for loving my woman. You know, the kids will be here this weekend and it'll be our week. So. You know. I'm going to be loving on them, too. So, you know, we we're going to we have to work on the schedule, which, we're you know, I I'm going to work on the schedule now. Well, no, I'm going to work on the schedule during WrestleMania because <laughs> um, I'm not right now. I'm, I have there's videos I need to do, but I'm going to work on the schedule. Y'all will see what the schedule is. You know, the editors will know what the schedules are. Everybody will know what the schedule is going forward. Um. And that's, that's it. I need structure, so we're going to structure it out. But, yeah, that's just the update of what was going on. Y'all almost lost us, bro, and it shouldn't be that way, you know, because I enjoy YouTube. Julie loves YouTube. This She never thought in her wildest dreams she would do YouTube, you know, so. And I'm making this video. <laughs> she didn't know I was going to make this video. 
but I'm making this video so she knows how much I love her. Like I'm not I'm not letting no like nothing come in between my relationship. So in order for this channel to be successful, we need a Julie Rockhart. And sometimes we'll have the kids like we're doing Cuphead on on Patreon. So sometimes we'll have the kids involved. So yeah, man. I think too, not to be throwing any names, but like I think the reason why Roshi is so successful is because he fucking loves his wife, bro. And y'all never know this. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all don't really hang out with, with you know, with, with us or them. You know what I'm saying? But whenever I see them, like, he loves that woman. You know what I'm saying? And not to say that I didn't love mine because I love my woman too. But I need to sh make sure that we are good first before we do anything else. I'm going to love up on her and sniff her toes and... All that little shit, you know what I'm saying? Buy her shit. Take care of my woman. Feed her and fucking rub her feet. Scratch her back. So, yeah. We took a break because we're human and we needed it. So, yeah, man. I love y'all. We love y'all. I'm glad that you're still here, whoever's still here, and um, everybody who stuck around or everybody who checked in on us. I know you didn't get a response, but here's your response. <laughs> I appreciate every last one of you. Hopefully you're not offended that we just needed to <laughs> we needed we needed it, bro. Needed it. We had to sleep. <laughs> we went shopping, not like for clothes or nothing like we went like food shopping and shit, but you know, we bought a bunch of snacks and shit and we just ate, watched movies. I felt like we, I haven't cuddled my woman in so long. But I did yesterday, and it felt great. Just squeeze and just, ah. Uh. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to give you a date on when we'll be back. You'll just know when we're back, okay? I am recording. I'm actively recording uh, and editing. So, but I don't want to be like, yeah, like, we're we're back. And then we're not, right? Because I want to make sure she's good. So this is your update for now. Um, in a perfect world, we'd be back today, but I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> so because um, she don't get out until late and she's not going to want to do nothing except let me sniff her feet. So. Oh, and I got to make these vegan tacos tonight. I don't mean to be ranting, but. It is what it is. Love y'all. I'll see y'all on the next one. Uh, see you soon. Take care of yourselves, bro. Take care of yourself. You only get one life to live. Live it properly. Take care of yourself so that you can do the things you love, things you enjoy, and you can be around for a few years. You know what I'm saying? Be, ar be around for a while. You know, stick around. Take care of yourself. I'll see you on the next one. Don't worry. We're not going nowhere. We're not quitting. I'm just taking a break. See you soon.